So my understanding yeah. is there'll be a little bit of a presentation after this match as well. Um, yeah. And then uh, Joey is actually out of, um, <coughs> excuse me, out of Dallas, Texas. And I believe both these gentlemen served in the military. I love this man. Big, big Just, fans of uh, the We Defy um, organization. I like to see him oh, use gets his in left the triangle. hand to posture up him a little more. That's what's up, man. He's going for it. Um, Joey is not taking it easy either. Yeah. He's going for it too. Um, man, that's a beautiful thing about jiu-jitsu, man. It's, it's limitless, you know. You got no... I was trying to think it was at uh, Kyle Ackerman, too, that uh, competed in ADCC. Uh -huh. um, and was, I think that same year, maybe 2000, whatever year it was in New Jersey. Well, um, Kyle, he did, uh, he did uh, a lot of, like, grapples, quests. He did a couple of those. Yeah. Huh? Oh, nice. Man, especially, like, now, for example, I can't use my hand because of my injury. Yeah. There's so many things for you to develop, you know? And... Uh, uh, the UAE JJF Federation is doing a really good job uh, with the para jiu jitsu. It's just so inspiring, you know. I see a lot of people babying about being injured and things like this, man. You know, but when you, when you, you know, in war and when you're doing something and you have a limitation, but you work around it, it's beautiful, man. I, I love this. It's it's. Yeah, one of my funnest, what's about, man. funnest guys to roll with, uh, black belt from Carlson Grace. He's a fourth degree black belt. Uh, Aaron, now I can't think of his last name, and he's going to get mad if he's listening. But uh, uh, gentleman out there, he uh, similar uh, situation. Got an arm lock there. Oh. Good. All right, boys, let's listen to him. G great comment from Nick Station. Whatever excuses I have for not going to jiu-jitsu feel pretty petty right now. That's it. Isn't that the truth? Is it. There's always a way to go around, man. What there's an inspiration. Ne there's never a bad day in jiu-jitsu unless you were making a better day. To Joey Bozek, founder of the We Defy Foundation. Hey, everybody. First, I want to say thank you, Joseph. Um, you know, he took this fight, and as we all know, you can't do jujitsu by yourself, right? So, this is what the foundation is about. Getting vets back on the mat, training with your support and help, because we need to do the right thing, right? They come back, they need our help, so let's help them. So, thank you, Joseph, for taking this fight. Appreciate it. <laughs> Looking at the board members here, and uh, everybody was able to come in town. Spencer, can you come out here? What a great event. Fulton Brewery stepped up. Jiu-Jitsu stepped up. They've been doing this thing for a while now, and uh, when they gave us the opportunity to come out here and be a part of this, we jumped at it. Uh, and this has been nothing short of amazing, man. This is fantastic. We got a little present for you from us. A little thank you. Awesome, uh, also, sorry, also, Fuji stepped up, donated geese for 
the foundation, the geeks we're getting tonight, the mats, everything, Fuji, amazing, amazing, amazing support. And we, uh, we like to thank them for everything they do for us as well. So I'll make it short so you can get back to your beers. Uh, for, you, for all of you that aren't familiar with what we do, um, we help Yosh. We help combat disabled veterans transition out of the military and back into civilian life using jujitsu as the medium. They struggle when they come home, some of them, with trying to figure out how they're going to go from this unit, from this family, uh, from the second family that's all of a sudden gone and ripped away from them for one reason or another. And when they get home, they struggle trying to find that new connection and that new family. And that's what we can do here on the mats. That's what they do every night on the mats, all across the country. Sweating, bleeding, bonding together. And so we help pair together those veterans in these schools. There are a ton of schools in this area that have been a huge supporter of what we do. This city, all of you, you're fantastic. From day one, you've been out there supporting us. Uh, it's amazing, amazing. And uh, we just wanted to say thank you. And hopefully we can come back next year or in years to follow. And come go, or go to WeDefyFoundation.org. Follow us on social media. Rather than you give us your money, which we'd love to have, go tell 50 people about us. Talk to your boss, talk to your boss's boss. Talk to the person at the water cooler and say, hey, I saw this really cool thing. It's really helping vets out. Help us spread the word, and that's more, that's worth more than anything. So thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your night. <laughs>